Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke Kamen and today we're going to be talking about how to never miss deadlines. So there's three tools that I use to never miss deadlines, which are Asana, which we'll be talking about today. That's why you clicked on this video. Um, bullet journals and Google Calendar will be the third one. Uh, so let's just jump straight into uh, video one to three. What is Asana? Asana is an app website designed to help teams track organize and manage their work. Asana is great for multitasking projects and never missing deadlines. And so you're hearing teams, so why am I talking to you? So I've actually been using this myself uh, for personal uses and I've gotten really creative with the tools that you can actually use. So I'll be showing you today how to use it for personal use. Also, Asana is free. There are extra premium features, but uh, everything you'll be seeing today is completely free. I won't be going into, at all into any of the paid features. Uh, I just simply don't know how to use them either. Why should you use Asana? Um, you should use Asana if you or your team are trying to become more organized, trying to um, never miss deadlines. Asana is a design for teams, but as I said, I will be showing you guys how to use it for personal use. So if you're a personal person trying, yeah, personal person. So if you're trying to balance many tasks uh, and projects or, or different types of work, you know, maybe you're freelancing, whatever, Asana will be really great for you because you can have many projects where you can categorize the types of tasks you have. Uh, so I have to manage school deadlines, uh, a team of 12 executives, uh, freelance, freelance design work, uh, making YouTube videos, coding projects, and just general things like paying rec rent and taxes, right? So uh, this is how, uh, through Asana, how I'm able to never miss these tasks. I'm the type of person who I can't remember the tasks in my head, but if I have good habits and good reminders and good tools that can remind me, then, then I'm good. Um, so if you're that type of person, then I'm sure this will be super helpful for you as well. Maybe you've come to my YouTube channel because you've seen my Habitica video. Habitica is another habit tracking tool uh, for productivity, which I reviewed in the past. And it's my most popular video. So why have I switched? I've actually been switching switched for a long time. And it's because in uh, Habitica, you had to-dos and you could create tasks, but you couldn't categorize them. And so when my tasks got very... Um, had a huge variety in tasks, as I listed earlier, um, I needed to split them into different categories. And so this is why I switched to Asana. But yeah, uh, enough about all this. Let's go into the actual features and look at the website. All right, so we are now on the Asana app, as you can see on the screen. And so I'll show you guys a bit of what you're seeing. Um, so uh, on the left here, uh, you've got a bunch of projects. And this is the reason why I moved to Asana. So I'll explain it first. These projects, uh, as you can see, I can click on all the various ones, and each one has tasks within them. Uh, and so it's really easy for me to, at a glance, uh, see uh, which category I need to be looking at. So for example, for my Laurier courses, I can put all my assignments and stuff into one uh, category uh, instead of uh, you know, juggling and figuring out you know, what, what else it would be if it wasn't organized. Uh, right, so that, that is uh, what projects are. To create a new project, you press the plus here, and you press blank project, and you can uh, write whatever you want. So here we're just going to write not a test, right? And you've got different formats of what you could use. You know, if you guys are familiar with Trello, you can create a Trello board by having it like this. So things will be in columns rather than in a, a task list. So, so, but you can change that at any point, as you can see, like this. I'm changing everything to a board view. All right, so these are projects, so I strongly recommend you use them. Also, just for reference, this is not my actual Asana. This is a test which I created for you guys. However, I created a lot of my actual tasks here to show you guys how I use it. Um, yeah. Next, let's look at tasks, because tasks is one of the most basic things. So let's look at creating a task and then our test section. So first, you can create a section. So I always create this section called next task to do. Make sure this is never empty at the top. So we're going to do that here as well. And the reason why we do this is so that uh, whenever this section gets empty, I know I put a task into it. So I'm always thinking about the next task to do uh, and it just gets me more productive, but you don't have to do that. Um, all right, so let's create a task. So we press the plus or we write add a task. We'll call it um, subscribe to Luke Hammond. If I can spell it. All right, I managed to spell it. So 
We've now created this task, what now? Well, we can add many different things to it. So first of all, you can assign it to someone. So this is a personal uh, Asana, uh, which means that there's only me in this team. So I can only assign it to myself. However, if there were more people, I could assign it to more uh, to different people and uh, have more flexibility. So this is good for a manager who wants to share it with someone. And then I can add a due date. So I can add a due date, for example, I can set it to tomorrow. But not only can I set it to tomorrow, but let's say I want to subscribe to Luke Heyman every week. I can actually set myself a reminder to that more frequently. So here I've got a set to repeat and here I can choose what, how, what the frequency I want to update at. So if I want it to weekly update on Friday, then I can just keep this checkbox on Friday and have it weekly. If I wanted to make it daily, like a habit, I can press daily. If I wanted to have it yearly, you know, I can do that. And so there's a lot of flexibility and there's also a due time you can add, you know, so maybe I want it at 4 PM. So now tomorrow at 4 PM, this will recur every Friday that I will subscribe to Luke Hammond. And it's that easy to create a task and to see your tasks, because you don't want to be looking in all of these sections all the time. This is where the top left part comes really into use. So you've got inbox, which I'll click right now. Oh, we don't have anything here. Home maybe? Yes. All right. Home, we can see all our tasks. Usually inbox works, but I don't think this sound has been up for that long. So here you can see all the tasks that uh, are due soon using the fact that we are able to set due dates. Uh, and so um, this is why it's super useful uh, to never miss any tasks because as long as you're looking at Asana every day, you will always see everything that you need to do, uh, which is great. Um, here, I'll actually show you guys what it looks like uh, on uh, an actual, um, what inbox should look like. And, and this is what you can see right here. Uh, and so this is uh, what you can do. Another tool that's really useful and I kind of mentioned at the start of this intro is you can use habits within Asana. So one thing I really liked about Habitica is that you could have habits every day. You know, that was the whole thing that it was based around, but I couldn't organize my tasks. And so I moved here and I'm, I found a makeshift way of doing habits. So basically I have tasks and I decide how frequently they appear. So for example, course review only appears Monday, Wednesday, Friday for me. Course review just means go into my school website and make sure that I'm up to date on the new lectures that have been posted and stuff. And so because these recur, when I go to home or inbox or my task, any of the three works, my tasks will appear here. And so I just do everything I've got to do that day. So if we go to the other one, it's a better example. So these are all my habits. So you see like once they're all done, uh, then I know I've done my habits for the day. I don't really have a counter. Uh, it's more like I have to hold myself accountable but you can really use this for uh, habit tracking. And as, as it shows you, like you can, as more creative you are, the more this can do, uh, and this can do a lot. So um, just try to be creative and uh, know that that'll be your superpower with this. Next thing that I'm gonna show you today is subtasks. So within this task, we've got an assignee, which is me. We've got a due date and the frequency. We've got the projects it's in, which you can add it to other ones. I won't show you how to do that. You can add a detail, so uh, testing, um, which I use the description often uh, to give me more clarification what the task is. But also a cool thing is that you can add subtasks. So um, you can add a task within here, which is uh, go to Luke, go to youtube.com slash Luke Kim. And then from there, that would be the next task to get me to the script to Luke Kim. So that's one way of using it. And then this task works exactly like a regular task where you can assign it and you can give yourself deadlines. And even that subtask can have subtask and that can go on for a pretty long time. Uh, but the way you can also use this is to give yourself reminders to do the task. So for example, I could say uh, reminder to subscribe, assign it to myself for today. Um, and so that would be the day before I would know that tomorrow I would have to subscribe to Luke Um yeah, also I do realize I'm plugging myself and I'm just having a lot of fun here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's how you can use uh, subtasks, recurring tasks. As you can see, these tasks are have a lot of uh, personalization and the more creative you are and the better you are understanding what these features do, the more creative you will be and the more powerful um, your productivity will be because you're just on top of your game and you're using features that are ahead of everyone else. Um, so yeah, so this tool is really simple, but has so many functionalities that you can use to your advantage.
to be really strong and never miss deadlines. So that's why I recommend it for personal use, for team use. You know, I use it for both uh, as we'll go in, in a bit. Um, so yeah, so here you can see I've got one of my projects is called Exec Team. So this year I'm a vice president of an association. I manage 12 executives and I, my job is literally to make sure that they do their job. <laughs> That's nothing else. So this is actually how I do it all. I just have a section for each of them and then I have tasks and then I assign them dates and I just remind them and I ask them what they're doing. Uh, you know, and so um, this is someone has proved to be really, uh, really strong at never making sure uh, that I'm forgetting tasks and making sure that I'm more organized than they are with their tasks. So uh, if you're looking to build a team, you know, I would strongly recommend using this and even inviting your team to your Asana project, uh, which is quite easy. You go to the plus button up here, uh, invite, and then you write the email of whoever you want. And they can access it for free because you're accessing it for free. All right. Um, so yeah, so these are all the features that I've been currently using that are really useful uh, for me, uh, as you can see, there's some more paid options like portfolios is going to ask you to pay goals, which I would really love to have, which you have to pay. Um, uh, I believe there's some more like like a like a timeline uh, that could be really useful, but again, uh, you have to pay. So so Asana really does have a lot of powerful uh, tools if you're looking to upgrade your game uh, and go more on the free plan. But honestly, the free plan is already really good. Uh, but just so you guys can understand, it's like ten bucks a month. Uh, for, for premium and uh, you get all these uh, timeline and custom fields and extra little things uh, which can be useful definitely for a team. Um, all right. um, so these are all the features that I use on a daily basis and that help me be super productive. Uh, so I hope that this will help you um, understand how you can use this tool and uh, jump into Asana without too many hiccups and understand how to never miss deadlines and how to balance so many tasks. You know, Having a project for each of your categories, you know, for one for design, one for school for me, one for managing my team, uh, one for real world stuff. Like, so this is where I just put finances, taxes, whatever. And then objectives and planning. This is where I have my goals, you know, like long-term goals, medium goals, and these are tasks which don't necessarily have deadlines, but help me understand where I'm going. And so as everything really is in this. All right, well, that's it for part one out of three of how to be productive and never miss deadlines. So I hope this was useful. If you like this, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment as to what uh, you think could have been improved and maybe any features that I forgot to add that you have a good idea how you can use. Uh, I would love to hear about anything you have to say and get to know my viewers. So don't be shy, comment down below and tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one for part two and part three.